huge progress has been made in the energy sector in Ghana. As the second phase of the nuclear power project, which is aimed at achieving a zero carbon energy status, providing clean power and building climate resilience for the country, has been completed. In today's video, we take a look at this exciting nuclear power project in totality and the details surrounding the completion of the phase 2 of this project. Before we begin, kindly like and subscribe to this channel for more insightful content. Let's dive right into it. In 2022, the president of Ghana, Nana Dankwa Ekufuado, announced the country's intentions to pursue and integrate nuclear technology into energy and power generation for use in the country. This move falls in line with the global collective commitment to sustain availability of power successful exploitation of nuclear energy sources as part of measures to boost rapid industrialization and boost economic development. Ghana received approval for the acquisition of our very first nuclear power plant given by the International Atomic Energy Agency back in 2014. After decades of negotiations, the cost of successfully completing a nuclear power plant depending on its size was estimated to be between 4 to 8 billion dollars. The director of Ghana's nuclear power Institute, Professor Seth Debra, described nuclear power as Ghana's next green base load solution. In a presentation on the provision of effective technical and scientific support to Ghana's nuclear power program during a workshop, he confirmed that NPG commenced the work required for implementation of Ghana's nuclear power project following the decision to proceed with a new nuclear generation supply program. The project, which was split into three phases, has phase 1 and phase 2 now completed and awaiting commencement of phase 3. Professor Debra added that to ensure a successful implementation of the nuclear power project, there would be enhanced technical and scientific support activities, including plant safety, power generation, performance and efficiency, how easy it is to maintain and operate, how it's reliable, its functionality, how available it would be, and the longevity of equipment and controls, and licensing support amongst others. The technical controller at the Millennium Development Authority and former chief executive officer of Ghana Great Company Limited, Gridco for short, the leading powerhouses in terms of energy allocation and distribution throughout the country announced that Gridco is ready to accommodate the power produced by the nuclear power plant when it's fully operational. This would help alleviate pressure on our current sources of energy while providing clean efficient energy to boot. The Deputy Energy Minister Andrew Ejapa Mesa disclosed what entails in the second phase of the project during a symposium held on nuclear power infrastructure development. The the second phase included securing and the approval of a site for the country's first nuclear facility. The approved site cleared all the checks and tests required, and phase 3 is ready to commence. Initially, four sites were selected as possible locations. These sites were subjected to a series of checks and tests to ensure that the most suitable one is chosen for the project. There has currently been no estimated timeline for the completion of this very exciting project, but since phase 1 and 2 has been completed, completion is surely in the works. The completion of this project would very much be a huge help as it will not only help tackle the energy crisis in the country but also provide a cleaner alternative form of energy production. All updates and progress on this project would be brought to you on this very channel. If you like content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, check out this video next on other massive projects going on right here in Ghana. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.